what's um, what does it take to write a good monster? Uh, I think you have to find the, bizarrely, you have to find the, the kind of humanity of it. You have to find, in a way, the sympathy of it. Um, because I think there's nothing more boring than a kind of straightforward villain who just wants to do evil. Actually, what you have to find is the, the kind of mitigating factors. You have to find the, the sympathies and the complexities within the character to make them interesting. Um, I mean, for example, you know, the character of Rosanna in Vampires of Venice, her whole motivation was actually quite arguably benign. She just wanted a very small piece of the earth to save her entire race. So, you know, and, and that, you know, means that her motivation is, is complex uh, and not, you know, not simple and not just pure evil. And I think that's the secret of it. Is so which, is, that, which is kind of the way the Doctor investigates as well, isn't it? it? You know, he never approaches a monster with the intention of killing it. He wants to know what it is and why, and he's excited by yeah, absolutely. Out what its motivation is. Because in a way, because I mean, the Doctor Who is, uh, is essentially a detective story every week and um, you know he'll you know they arrive there is a problem there is something going on he then has to find out you know, what has led them to this point and uh, yeah and so understanding the kind of the the, the intention and the uh, you know is, is a big part of that sort of investigative process presumably though 